to go over, open up the box, and show you how you should receive uh, your grinder when you order one from Do More. So just open it up, and you should receive several smaller packages with motors, with um, internal shafts, external shafts, and in the larger black case is actually is how you should receive your do more grinder. So the do more grinder sitting in here and some of the attachments are also in here and so we're going to stop the video in a minute and we're going to unpackage all this. We're going to lay it on the table so you can get a better idea of how all the different parts to the do more grinder what type of attachments come with it and how they all should look. So we'll pause it and we'll open it all up and we'll show you this in a minute. You previously saw a quick scan of all the different items that come in uh, this particular type of do more tool post grinder kit uh, in the top of your kit you should receive a do more envelope and in that envelope you'll receive your manual and you also receive some safety pamphlets of manual safety manual and safety notes about grinding wheel safety please read them because it's important to know all that you can about when you're using a, a grinding wheel and all the dangers and all the things involved in it. Our particular Do More Tool Post model is an 8587-210. It has a half horsepower motor mounted to the mount assembly already when you receive it. You also receive a mounting post, a T-bolt assembly, a wheel cover assembly, a belt cover, and a hanger assembly. You also receive all the wrenches you need for mounting pulleys, and wheels to the motor as well as to the spindle shaft. In our TN3 box that we received, we received a 5 8 inch diameter and a 1 inch diameter wheel and an internal spindle. This particular spindle is a 423-0008. It has a maximum depth of 3 inches, a maximum RPM of 25,000. They also do make other models of this particular shaft that will reach into depths up to six inches. In our TC box, which is our mounted wheel box, we received a quarter inch, a five eighths, and a three quarter inch diameter wheel mounted on an eighth inch shaft. And we also received an inch and a quarter diameter wheel mounted on a quarter inch shaft. We also received an eighth and a quarter inch collets, as well as the mounted wheel spindle. This particular model number is 423-0015. It has a maximum RPM of 42,500. The next box was our spindle box. This is a 5T-200 spindle. All your, your mounting spindles mount in one end of this spindle and all your pulleys mount on the other side. When we get to actual assembling pulleys and spindles in this, we'll go into more depth and detail on how to do that. In our next box is our TX box, external spindles. We received a 3 inch, a 4 inch, and a 5 inch wheel. We also received wheel flanges as well as the external spindle. This part number is 423-0004. It has a maximum RPM of 15,000. In the next box we receive the, the diamond dresser mount and the diamond to dress the wheels by. We also received two belts. One is a 429-0086 and that's 22 inches and a 429-0085 which is 19 inches. And the final box we received was the pulley box. We received a 
three quarter inch diameter, two one inch diameter pulleys, a 1.2 diameter pulley, a two inch, a three inch, and a four inch pulley. And you say to yourself, why did I receive all these different pulleys? Well, the pulleys change the diameters, mounts, gives you a different speed. So for example, if you take a three inch pulley and a two inch number two pulley, you would have to look in your chart under the particular tool post grinder you have and under a number two and a number three spindle pulley you would know you would have to use the 22 inch belt and that would give you an RPM, maximum RPM of 22,500. So this is just an overview of all the different things that you, we received in our kit. Like I said, Doom works other models up to a, a full one horsepower motor for tool post grinding. Uh, in future videos, we're going to go through all of these and show you what each one does, how to mount a wheel, how to set up the pulley system for that particular wheel, and give you just a general overview of all the different uses you could use this do more tool post grinder and how to use it properly. So that's it for right now. Thank you for watching.